everybody. I am so happy to be back in Boston. I had so much fun in the Outer Banks. Honestly, I wish I could stay for like another week, but it just feels so good to be back home, do your laundry, unpack, like get your life together type of thing. So I'm really happy I'm back for that reason. I slept for probably like 12 hours last night. I needed it from all the traveling. And so I'm so excited to get after it today and just be really productive. As you saw, I was just unpacking all my clothes, did some laundry, and since we've been away, we literally have no food. We have like a tiny bit of my, um, just like this so delicious, what is it called? Not soy yogurt, coconut milk yogurt. I love it. And my favorite granola, purely Elizabeth. So I'm gonna eat some of that for breakfast. And yeah, I just feel like I have so much to do today. I have like some exciting things to talk to you guys about that I've been like thinking about for honestly forever, probably like a year. And now I'm finally gonna talk about it so that I have to do it. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about and probably by the title of this video. And yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna work out. We'll see where the day takes us. Well, this worked out really well. I don't even know how we have strawberries because we've been gone. Maybe Taylor got them yesterday. Thanks, Taylor. I took three of your strawberries. Mm -mm -mm. So good and simple. I feel like I never have this anymore. But if you guys remember my videos from high school, I would eat yogurt, cereal, granola, fruit like every day. I feel like I normally would do blueberries. That's so good. And I just like barely do it anymore. We're always like fancy with the avocado toast and the egg. Sometimes it's good just to go back to basics. Guys, look it. <laughs> <laughs> Max just took his care of quiz. Wait, this is so fun. Wait, show us the ones that you're getting. They're gonna come like in the next week or so. Vitamin D, iron, magnesium, B complex, fish oil. Okay, I have fish oil. Wait, go back up. I have, what ones are the same as you? I take fish oil and B complex. I don't take the other ones. What do the other ones do? Uh, do they teach you? Good for your overall health, <laughs> yeah. How Vitamin is your... D because I'm very pale and I need that. <laughs> is it gonna make you tan from the inside? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did you put in your quiz to get those? Mm, I don't know. You want me to redo my quiz? If you want to, it'll probably just give you the same thing. Guys, I was just gonna have Max take his care of quiz, but I forgot he literally did it the other week. That's why it said made for Max and already had all his recommendations because he already did it, but then now he's finally ordering them. So I didn't even say yet. We're about to leave for my lake house today. I was finally excited to like get back to Boston and I thought we were gonna leave later tonight, but we're actually leaving quite soon. So, so much for getting my life together. It's like getting together a little bit. Oh my God, he used my promo code. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, anyway, so I think what we realized is, this is what I did too, like the ones that it recommends for you, you don't have to do completely like on their own. You can add, take away, whatever. So there's like expensive ones that the quiz like recommends for you. You can be like, oh, I don't wanna like spend money on that every month, whatever. You can take it out and then mine didn't recommend fish oil for me. I don't think it recommended fish oil for you either, but we added it in there because my parents always told me it was good for me. So yeah. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys my care, <laughs> I'm holding it upside down, my care up. And this is so exciting. I know in my last care video I talked about this, but all of their little packs are compostable now. And I don't even know if you've seen, but in my um, drawer, in my bathroom, my bottom drawer, every day I save these and there's like a big pack of them so I can put them in compost one day when I like figure out how to do that. But I like read about it, like I know how to do it. I just have to pick a time and place and you know what I mean? And I like live in an apartment building, but you just, you can look up how to do it. But basically all of these are compostable, enough about that. Hi Gretchen, today's quote, some people are so much sunshine to the square inch. It's me. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> that's really conceited. <laughs> that just reminds me of me in this moment. <laughs> because I read a note from Natalie this morning and she was just saying that I'm like a light in her life and really positive and it was really sweet and it made me cry. So this reminds me of what she said about me. <laughs> How cute. But you guys know these quotes are my like favorite things about them. Anyway, and you can actually tell the difference between this packaging and the old packaging because it's all like, 
I don't know, it feels different, it looks different, if you guys know what I mean. If you've been taking care of it for a while, because I think they switched over to the compostable packaging like this spring. And if you guys didn't know, I literally have been taken care of. I think we're coming up on my two year anniversary now. Oh, I've showed these a million times before too. But these are two fish oils that I take every day. This is my probiotic, which is good for like digestion. These I'm gonna mix up. One is vitamin C. I think it's this one. Vitamin C because we all know how much I get sick. And then this one is B complex for your hair. And that is gonna take up too. So that you have your luscious locks forever, right? Yes. Because your hat Stop. and your helmets yank out his hair. Get out of there. They're so bad. And he has a hat on every day, and it's not good for your hair, people. So he needs his beat complex. Bottom drop. I know, I used to do like a couple at a time, but like, no, just get it over with, girl. And I'm so excited for when you are taking them with me in the morning. Because I always wanted Max to take them until we finally like took the quiz like I said the other day And I'm so excited we can like take them together and then they're gonna be cute little packs to say hi Gretchen. Hi Max yeah. <laughs> I just thought I would talk to you guys about care of today specifically because I know all of you are like traveling in the summer going crazy and actually Babe, did you realize when I was complaining about our flight situations a lot of people were messaging me saying that Crazy flight delays and cancellations and stuff are actually really common and normal in the summer and get all crazy because like everyone's traveling in the summer. That I didn't even realize that. But I mean that makes perfect sense. So anyway, I know all of you are traveling and like living your best lives and I just feel like you really should make your health and wellness a priority. And I feel like that's so easy with care of because like I said before, I know I've talked about them a million times, you guys just know I'm their biggest fan. Literally their little quiz that Max took and that I took forever ago, but sometimes I'll retake to see if I want to take different vitamins or if like things change in my life style um, the quiz takes five minutes for real and it just asks about like your diet your lifestyle things like that how much sleep you get and it's gonna recommend like the best vitamins for you and I feel like for me that was just something that was so helpful because I know I've talked about this and I know all of you feel like this too when you're in the vitamin aisle like lost and just so confused on like what you should be taking um, so then it's just gonna recommend what vitamins you should be taking to make you the healthiest and if you like are vegetarian or you like don't sleep enough or if you drink a lot of alcohol whatever so then it can just recommend like the best ones for you which is my fave wait also you guys I just realized I don't think I've talked about this before but care of now has like protein powders and all these other fun things other than just like your daily little packs of vitamins and me max always put the chocolate protein powder in our smoothies and i remember i picked out the i didn't get the whey one i got the plant-based one just because i thought it would be like a little bit healthier let me grab it i want to show you here it is and it just tastes really chocolatey and sweet and yummy in our smoothies and i know it's just good for you just a chocolate and pro jo Woo! just a chocolate and <laughs> chocolate <laughs> just a chocolate protein powder I thought I would mention in case you're into that and getting swole at the gym <laughs> and thank you so much Kara for partnering with me on this video you guys know I'm literally like your biggest fan and I know if you guys want 50% off your first month of Kara you can go to takecareof.com and use my code Gretchen that's literally what Max used so that he would get 50% off his order which I think is so funny like in the checkout it just said like little like Gretchen promo code used you're such a big fan. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go to the gym, and like I said, these little doodads are so <laughs> handy. I'm just gonna take three of them and throw them in my duffel because I'm gonna be at my lake house for the three days, and then that way I can take them when I'm there. But like I said, would recommend, highly suggest checking out the description, going to takecareof.com, get your vitamins, be healthy this summer, people. It's so simple and easy, comes right to your door. I'm actually almost done with my current pack, and I saw online that my new box is coming today at 3 p.m., how exciting, it's like Christmas. Okay, ready for me to put you through a workout? Big guns. Yeah. I just turned off the country music so this doesn't get copyrighted. But we're working out, we just went through. Rolling, stretching, one circuit. Now we're doing another one. Mikey would be so proud of me. <laughs> El Workout Buddy makes this a lot easier because I like, just would not do this on my own. Um, 10 seconds, okay. I'm doing incline push-ups because I can't do normal ones yet. Max Three, is doing weighted goblet two. squats and then we have this like back one. Okay, ready. Oh, I cheated too and I started late. Okay, now I'm doing this fun little back one over here. Oh, this is a perfect spot for you guys to go. Hi, 
I haven't even done these with Mike, I don't think. I've done like other types of squats. But, like at first we did like a squat press. I do those a lot. Now I'm just doing weighted squats. Uh -huh. My hand is shaking, holy man. <laughs> my pull up I just showed I just took a video on my phone to send to Mike maybe it'll be your insta story yeah maybe I'll put on my insta story I want to show the vlog should I do, do one more you can do it come on oh gosh this is going to be a week attempt everyone we should have done this at the beginning of the workout this is what I do I get everything working before and then it's easy okay ready Oh! <laughs> that was really hard, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Good job, Bubby. Uh, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed working out with us. That was really fun. And now, I literally have to hurry to shower quick, pack up quick, and go to my lake house quick, even though it's like five hours away, because my mom wants us to make it in time for dinner. I feel like out of breath. But before anything else, I want to show you guys, I just got three packages in the mail and they're all very exciting for their own reasons. The first thing I'll show you, I already opened, it's these Lululemon shorts. Literally, you guys, if you know the ones that I wear every day, wait, stay right there, I'm going to get them. You guys have seen these on me probably every day, not to be dramatic. I. Babe, I literally wear these every day, I feel. I so ever since I got them in Miami, me and Max were just like window shopping in Lulu, but I fell in love with them. And these are the on the fly shorts from Lululemon, not the woven ones, I don't like those. I tried them on and they have the two different kinds, on the fly, like normal, and then the woven, and the woven ones just feel a little bit more like scratchy and athletically, athletic -y, not like it's soft and stretchy. These are like so soft and stretchy. Oh, I still have the like rip tag on them in a four because yes they didn't have them in black in the lululemon or online they're like sold out everywhere of the black on the fly normal shorts and i tried on a size four and the black woven ones and they fit like tighter and not as comfy and i was so upset so i started my research and i was searching like everywhere for them literally everywhere i would call lululemon stores that they told me have them in stock to see if they could ship them to me like i went like a crazy woman to research and you'll see with something else I got too. Like if I get my heart set on something that I want, I like cannot accept that it's out of stock or not somewhere. Like I will find it. So my search started and <laughs> I found these on Poshmark and it was really difficult for me to decipher and try to figure out if they were the normal on the fly shorts or the on the fly woven ones because I didn't want the woven ones. I wanted the soft stretchy ones and I finally found them. And then if you saw my story, you probably know what these are. <laughs> So basically, I follow Lauren Oshie on Instagram, and Max knows how obsessed I am with her. I just think she's so cute, and their kids, and now they're a new puppy, and she's just adorable, and I love her, like, sense of style. Um, is that what it's called? Sense of style? That's, no, that's a weird, sense of fashion? I don't know. I just love her style, is what I'm trying to say. And she has always had these Dior sandals that I love, and right as I decided I wanted them, of course, they're, like, unavailable everywhere. Literally. So this is the style. It's called the D-Way Mule. I don't, it doesn't even say it on here. Yeah, D-Way Slide um, from Dior. And they have a bunch of different colors of them. They're all sold out on their website always. They're really hard to find them in the store. Like, I went to the Dior store really naive. And I was like, I want these shoes. Like, bring them out for me to try them on. And they're like, no, girl. Like, they're always sold out. Like, literally every color, every size. And yeah, they did have one that someone returned that day and I tried on a size 39, which is like supposed to be a women's nine, um, but it's actually too small on me. And I think Dior 
shoes run small because like designer shoes normally do but also I just have wide feet and designer shoes tend to be more narrow so I just like struggle and so even though I'm like an eight and a half normally the nine was too small and I was like I literally am probably like a 10 in these like my Louboutins I think are technically like a 40 or like a 39 and a half which would be like a nine and a half or ten anyway so I knew I needed like a nine and a half or a ten in them, 39 and a half or a 40. And I'm like, where am I gonna get these? I'm so upset. I'm like looking all over the internet. They have them on like those um like Trade Z or the Real Real, like those websites that have a bunch of different designer stuff. But they were like marked by up because they're always out of stock and more expensive. And I'm like, ugh. And I still don't think they have my size. So then I went to Saks because Saks actually has like Dior stuff in store. Sorry if you like don't care about this. But um they were like, oh my gosh, we have like 139 and a half. This like worked out so well. And then she was like, oh, just kidding. It's not in the back room. That means it's like on hold and someone else already like got them. And I'm like, cool, I'm really sad. It was this big old fiasco. And then I kept calling Saks trying to figure out how I could get them. And then finally, I literally was on the way to the Outer Banks. I was like in the airport on the phone with this guy from Saks. I'm like, please tell me you can get them for me. And he's like, there's literally one of them in like a Saks in Palm beach florida and i'm gonna call and like order them for you and then i like always text him with stuff i want now <laughs> and he's like here's the receipt like they're on the way and i'm just so happy so i get back from the outer bank that they're waiting for me here so you're probably like shut up gretchen we want to see what they look like or if you saw my story you already know i just don't know why i became so obsessed with them they're just like slides but i think they're gorgeous and obviously they're not just like normal slides they're like fancy like sandals like I don't even like calling them slides because they're not like adidas slides that you like go to the gym in <laughs> you know what I mean or like shower in they're obviously like nice ones and I just think they're oh, so gorgeous last but not least I should have had this before the gym but I just opened it and I'm so excited to try them out you guys because I need to like look more into it but basically I was just looking for like all natural deodorants that are good for you because Lucy has that Kopari one um if you guys know it's like that coconut oil brand but I think she was telling me she like doesn't know if it works that well like she likes it sometimes and like doesn't others I don't really know so she was like didn't really know how she felt about it so I've heard of native I feel like I've seen it on Instagram take care of your body it's the only place you live <laughs> that's cute safe simple effective we believe in creating personal care products are better for your body they're free of aluminum, paraben, sulfates, coconut oil, shea butter is actually what's in there, blah, 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 blah. I'm so excited. I literally thought that I just got coconut and vanilla, but maybe I got cucumber, mint, or lavender rose too, so I'm really excited to try them all out. I already opened this one, and it smells so It smells so good. It smells like, you know when you get um, coconut, vanilla, like shea butter lotion type thing? That's what it smells like. I'm so excited. Oh, and then it shows you all the ingredients. Love this. I thought it said, do not apply to underarms. It says, don't apply to broken skin. I just read it wrong. But there you can see all the ingredients. And I'm so excited to try them out. Okay, this is enough of my mail time. I need to go pack and get ready. I quickly body showered. No time to do my hair. My mother is waiting for me. I'm covering my face in this really thick moisturizer. You can't really tell in this lighting. But I got a lot of sun. And so I really don't want to peel. Luckily, I don't think I will because I always had my sunscreen on, but I just put on a lot of... I'm just bringing sneakers and flip-flops. Okay. Just putting on a lot of moisturizer to make sure. I thought we could just chat in this moment, you guys. So, let's make my big announcement that, honestly... Oh, well, some of you actually know this is coming because in an Instagram live a couple weeks ago, I literally talked about it and I was like, if you guys are on this live, you know first that it's happening. And I talked about how I wanted to start a podcast for so long because you guys know me and I could talk all day long. I really could. I enjoy talking a lot and I like that you guys like listening to me blab in my videos. So I feel like a podcast just makes so much sense. Oh, also trying my new deodorant. Let's see how we look. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about it here because then I have to do it. And to be honest, I probably ordered this a month ago. I was talking to Brooke because I listened to Danielle and Brooke's podcast and they were telling me about like microphones and stuff to use. And I think this is the microphone that Brooke has. Um, and I found this color called Platinum Exclusive Platinum Edition. Hello, fancy. And I thought it looked cool. So I've had this at my apartment for probably a month and I've been wanting to start. And now that I'm talking about it, I must start. And if I'm being honest as well, wait, let's see how we like this. It smells really good. <laughs> 
we're just being very open today i thought of a lot of ideas and whenever you look up a uh, idea that you have on the internet of a podcast idea it already exists but if you guys have any names that you're like, oh my god, this has to be the name of your podcast, leave them down below because I'd love to hear. Um, wait, honestly, I should just tell you the ideas that I have in my phone. Hang on. Okay. I Before I even look, I can tell you that one of them was hot mess because I just feel like I'm a hot mess and I'm always like all over the place. But I'm like, you know what? I might as well just accept it and make a podcast for all the hot messes out there like me. But then I'm thinking like that's kind of like a negative connotation a little bit and I don't want <laughs> like... You guys do feel like that I'm always a hot mess. I'm not always a hot mess. Sometimes I have my stuff together, you know? So I don't know how great I feel about that. The first one that me and Taylor came up with was we were brainstorming on like a long car ride and she was like happy hour. And I'm like, wait, that's so cute because she was saying how you guys are always come back with feedback that I'm like so positive on my videos and so happy and then I could just make a podcast like an hour long and it could be like happy hour but also happy hour is like obviously a time when you go get drinks like after work with your friends and like fun and I feel like that's very much my vibe like you guys know in my videos I just want to be like your BFF and your big sister and like I just feel like we're hanging out right now that's like honestly what I feel like whenever I make my videos I feel like you're my friend and I'm just showing you my new clothes that I got at the mall we're like talking like I feel like you're Louisa right now and we're just hanging out so I feel like happy hour would be fun I'm sure all those names are already like taken so I don't really know how that works I'm like a little bit in over my head because I'm just like oh yeah I'm gonna start a podcast but I think it's a lot more like techy and difficult to start up than like a YouTube channel but like I will figure it out I did graduate from college so I should be able to figure out how to start a podcast oh and then I forgot about these ones I wrote down real talk and for real like if I'm just like for real because i feel like i always tell people that and i'm like no for real so maybe i don't like those as much or like real talk because i just like being real with you guys and honest like i literally show you me putting on deodorant <laughs> like what surprise i'm starting a podcast but it's not like a surprise for a lot of you because i talked about it on my instagram live probably like a month ago and if you just really think about it you realize that i could blab forever and are you hungry? Starving. Oh my gosh. I haven't eaten today. Look at this. You haven't? Well, I had like a rice cake. Oh, that isn't that fun. Oh, because you don't have like food here. This don't thing. show him my lips. Face looks so hungry. Oh, because you're sunburnt. He's in a lot of pain. He keeps putting like a hundred quarters on cream on them because they're so burnt. They're getting better though. Yeah. Okay, Max is hungry. We have to go. Starving. I'm going to end off the vlog here. I'm I love get you guys. two burritos. You no. Yeah, it's a long ride. I might get hungry. <laughs> Save one for like an hour later. Okay, I love you guys. It. Thanks for watching. Comment podcast name ideas down below. And the Max and Gretchen show. <laughs> and go get your care of vitamins to stay healthy. Like Max's. Fine. We'll show you his vitamins when they come in next week. Okay, love you. Bye. Oh, bye.